on the side here, I have my different entities or tables. If I go ahead and click into one of them, like accounts, and what's gonna be dis displayed here is a view. So a view is going to define how a list of records for a specific entity is displayed in the application. So it's a spreadsheet, right? I see all the records of my accounts based on filter criteria and each view is going to use different filter criteria. I can see what that is by clicking here. Right now it's at status equals active. And it also is determined by what columns or fields that I want to see for any particular view. Uh, right now I have account name, main phone, address city, primary contact, email, primary contact. Those can be edited by clicking here as well. Uh, there's a couple options that you have in here too to affect these. You can on the fly adjust the width of each column depending on how you want to display your information. Right now you can see this up arrow. That means it's going A to Z. My search criteria or my, my filter criteria here is going A to Z by account name. Maybe I wanted to do it by city instead. There we go. Now we're going A to Z based on the city. I can do that with primary contact as well. Uh, maybe I just want to see the records where uh, the account has a active primary contact. You can see some of these don't have any. So I can click on filter by and I can just move to contains data. I'll hit apply. All right, you can see the filter icon. That's how you know it's active. I can see all of my accounts with uh, the primary contact in there. You can also change which view you're looking at. You can change which one is your default view. So right now I'm looking at active accounts. If I click on this down arrow here, I can see my other system views. Um, I can also see my personal views. Those are denoted by the little icon. Uh, but these three down here, these are the main system views, active accounts, all accounts, if I want to see them, whether they're active or not, or my active accounts, if I want to see just the records that I own. So I can go ahead and click into this. And if I knew that this was primarily the view that I wanted to use day to day, I can make this by my default by clicking the down arrow and just clicking set as default view. There we go. Now, if I leave it and come back, we're on my active accounts. And maybe this is getting a little cluttered here. Maybe I have too many personal views that I'm not using anymore. I can get rid of these by just clicking manage and share views, clicking the three dots next to them. I, I have the option to hide if, uh, if I just don't want to see it right now. I have the option to deactivate if I think I might want to reactivate it later, or I can just delete as well. So I'll go ahead and deactivate this one. This one here, I know I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And we'll hit close. And then if I go back here, you can see it's a lot cleaner than it was before. Uh, next, we'll look at how to create and save your own personal views.